So as we know, an independent panel in BC is looking at unethical or worse practices from realtors who are involved in tricking buyers into selling property when they have a hidden chain of buyers lined up behind them and they flip the uh, or assign the contracts to them. A new angle we've uncovered is across Metro Vancouver we have unlicensed brokers or wholesale wholesalers as they call themselves making uh, unsolicited uh, cash sale offers, talking about benefits of saving on realtor fees, talking about quick, private, discreet, confidential sales. The problem here is that uh, this kind of practice is, is not legal. You're not supposed to be buying and selling real estate in BC without a license. And these people don't have to report sales to Canada's anti-money laundering officials. So the concerns are that they go in, they have an investor behind them who will put up, a, let's say, a $1.5 million in a legal trust. The wholesaler makes the offer to the home buyer, goes back to the investor, flips the contract to them, gets a quick 10%, $150,000, and it keeps moving up the chain. Obviously, this is part of the speculation that we really see moving in prices that are rising across Metro Vancouver. And uh, a really, really dark and worrying side of this, a whistleblower came forward and said that not only are people tricking buyers, but they are targeting seniors who don't know the values of their homes. So rather than making a $100,000 cut on, on flipping a contract, they will talk about going and approaching a, a widow who's just lost her partner. She doesn't know the value of her home. They'll make a really low ball offer. She sells and then they make $300,000, $400,000 on a transaction. Now this could be financial elder abuse and we've taken it to BC authorities. We'll see what they do about it.